hey guys so welcome back to my channel I know it's been a really long time since I've posted an actual video but it has been a crazy few months so I thought I would do a recap of season in the last couple months and um, just keep you guys updated okay so to clarify the last two videos that I posted was in order to submit my portfolio to get into the Digital World Institute at UF. Um, I had to post them to YouTube and submit the link, so that's why those are on there. I'll probably now end up kind of editing them so that they look better on my channel than they do now um, with a description and all that, but we'll get to that later. So for right now, I thought I would do a recap of our season. Um, since I know I said I would be doing a travel vlog for our first away meet, which was the first time I used this camera, I may or may not do that. The footage is kind of okay-ish, um, but we're going to use this camera more from now on and we'll see how it goes. So for a season summary, um, our season started January and we went all the way until our it was supposed to be our last home meet, um, but until March. And for me, it was a big step because I actually competed in every meet except for the last one um, throughout the whole season. So I competed in all the meets in either one or two events, uh, which would be beam and floor. And then I exhibition vault uh, one or two times. And I just improved a lot from last year, so that was definitely a big accomplishment for me. For our second home meet, I was able to compete on beam for the first time ever for Gators. And I actually got the highest debut score for any Gator ever. And I got a 9.925 on that beam routine. And I just had so much fun. Didn't put any pressure on myself because it was the first time. I just went out there and performed. And it ended up being one of my best performances. So I was really excited about that. And then... I finally got to compete my double Arabian on floor and after competing that the second OA meet I believe it was in Kentucky um, I competed it for the rest of the season so I was really excited about that that is probably my favorite pass ever if anybody asked me my double Arabian is my favorite pass and let's see also we as a team had a big accomplishment we got regular season SEC champs two years in a row which was amazing I'm so proud of us and we also had an undefeated season so those were some really big accomplishments for us as a team and individually for me and I thought I would share that now for a life update um, so I had been working on the portfolio to get into my major for about seven months so since Thanksgiving and I worked on it and worked on it for a long time it was very tedious very time consuming and I had so much stress put on that and I finally got to submit that on March 14th which was the day before that we went home after everything went into quarantine and things got crazy so I submitted that and so they told me that I would be getting an answer back between April 10th and April 20th so I was definitely not expecting to get any information until then so on April 3rd which was this week, um, I got an email and it said portfolio approved. So I, I opened it and it said congratulations that my portfolio had been accepted and I was recommended to um, start in the fall for the Digital World Institute. So I was ecstatic. I called my advisor, I called my coach just to clarify and confirm everything and I got in. So all that hard work really paid off and I'm really proud of myself. And so the videos that you guys can see now is what part of what I submitted. And I'm actually going to continue working on those videos and see what all I can learn and see how much better I can make the video and what more effects I can add to it. So I'm really excited about that. Now on a more serious-ish note, um, my family, we've been home and quarantined for about three weeks now. Um, 
I think we're still going to be in quarantine until the end of this month, which I think all of Florida is. Um, we are safe and healthy right now, and I'm very thankful and grateful for that. We are fortunate enough to live kind of farther from town, so there's not a lot of people around us, so we are able to go in our backyard and enjoy being outside, thankfully still. So we're not cooped up in the house all the time, but this is like really important. Like this isn't fake, this is real life, and we're just taking everything seriously and just taking all the precautions needed, not going out in public when we don't have to. So I really hope that everybody else can do that too so that we can get back to normal life and go to public places. Um, but just hang in there, we are hanging in there too. And yeah, I think that's all I have for an update. So guys, let me know if you want to see anything in particular video wise coming up. Uh, I have a few ideas and hopefully they go well. So I'm working on that and getting that for you guys next. Um, some surprises hopefully that will go well. That's a little farther in the future but they're in the process. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I just want to do a little update, a little recap, and because I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So if you're watching this and you don't already follow me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment any ideas, comments, anything down in the comments. Let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video.